In this video, we are going to understand how to create a histogram in Stata. A histogram is used to display a frequency distribution of certain data. So for that, first let's load a data set. Click on File menu, then click on Example data set, then click on Example data sets installed with Stata, and we are going to use the Auto data set. So we have a bunch of variables, this data set is loaded and we want to create the histogram for our mileage variable. So we have this variable of mileage and we have this different cars and their mileage is recorded in this variable. We are going to display the histogram of this variable. For that, let's move to the graph menu, then click on histogram, a new dialog box would open and we would just select the variable. Our variable is mpg and we click OK. So if we have our graph displayed here. You would notice here that eight bins were created and started with, uh, with the value of 12 and the bin had the width of 3.625. So Strata would automatically create the width and the number of bins. But we would like to see some uniform kind of width say for example we want the width to be say 5 or we want the width to be 3. The second issue is that instead of frequency this graph is presenting the density. So we want to change these things we want to have the frequency on the y axis and we want to change the bin width. One more thing is that histogram is used to display the, the frequency distribution of just one variable and you would have noticed in the dialog box that there was the option of just one variable. So let's again move to histogram and now instead of density let's select frequency. You would notice that these are radio buttons and you would understand that radio buttons are used to indicate mutually exclusive items. So only one checkbox would work. So we can only choose one option. So in this case, if I choose the frequency distribution, then the density would, would not work. Again, we have these radio buttons for if the data is continuous or it is discrete. In our case, it is continuous. So we are going to use this this checkbox this option so we can change the number of bins the bin width and we can also change the lowest limit of the first bin remember in 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 this case it automatically started with 12 and the width was 3.62 and the number of bins were 8 so if we increase the number of bins the width would decrease or we can change the width of the bin and if we decrease the width of the bin then the number of bins would increase. So we either use the width of the bin option or number of bins. So in this case let's select the width of the bin option and we would have 3 as the width. We would leave the rest as default. Click OK. We would have a new graph and you would notice that the width is 3, we have 10 bins and it's again starting with 12. Now if we have many bars, then we are not summarizing enough. And if we have less, we are summarizing too much. So we have to strike a balance. So I guess the number of bins between 10 to 15 is a right balance that we can strike. There are other options that we are going to explore. So let's move to the dialog box again. Let's move the title bar and when we move to another tabs, this title tab or any other tab, the, the data that we already inputted in the main tab would still remain there. It won't be cancelled. So let's give a nice title to this graph and let's call it mileage histogram. Now instead of clicking OK, we are going to click submit and when we do that, this dialog box would remain open and we can still change uh, the settings in this dialog box. 
So this new graph would appear and you would notice that we have the heading at the top, the title at the top. We can also have some note and that note would uh, would explain this, we might explain the source of data. So let's have this note and again click submit, the new graph would appear and you would see the, the source of data or whatever note we input would appear at the bottom of the graph. Then we have this overall tab where we can either choose a default template of graph. So let's say if I wanted to choose the default template stata general, you would notice when I submit, you would notice that it would give us the graph in the default uh, setting of uh, stata general. We can also change the name of the graph. So you would notice here that whenever we create a graph, it would have a name of graph. So whenever we create a new graph, it would delete the previous one and create the new one. So let's say we want to compare two graphs side by side, then we would have to use the name option. If we wanted to change the name of the graph, we would write the new name of the graph in this name tab, name text box. So let's give it a name of graph new and when I click on submit, you would notice that a new tab would appear with this graph. So we have this old graph and the new graph. They look similar because we didn't change any settings, but it would generate a new tab and the graph would be, uh, we would have these two graphs simultaneously. Let's move to the legend tab and we can click on show legend and you would notice that now we would have these legends here. We can also have a density plot and that we can add here from the density plot tab. So we would have a density plot if we submit that. The legend would be added here. Now we can also have this graph for different subcategories. So in this case, we are going to use the buy option, buy tab. So we can generate the graph for subcategories. In our data, we have a category variable which is foreign variable and it records whether a car is domestically produced or it is foreign produced car. So we can generate two graphs, each for the domestic and the foreign, uh, foreign category. So let's select the foreign variable here and if we submit we would have now two car, two graphs. One would be one histogram would be for domestic cars, and the second histogram would be for the foreign car. So there are tons of other options. Also, you can play with it. You can also work with the graph uh, editor. And if, if you click on Start Graph Editor, you you can have multiple options. You just need to double click on the item that you want to change. So let's say in this case we change the outline color. And you would notice that the outline color would change. You can also increase or decrease the size of the uh, the labels. So here it would be if we, if we increase the size to say medium large, you click OK and you would notice that the size would increase. And lastly, whenever you are working with graphs, it is a better idea to save the graph in the Stata graph extension because whenever you want to edit the graph later on, you would be able to do it. So first save it in the Stata graph.gph format and later on you can save it in any format that you want. Say we can save it in the PDF format or PNG format. So I normally save them in the image format, which is the PNG format and then I can import it into my document or you can use the PDF format. Please click on subscribe button and hit the bell icon. You will get a notification as soon as we upload a new video. Also leave a comment in the comment box below for a recommendation or any suggestions that you would like to give.